Y'all, today we're making tab dividers, pockets, and a folder for this sweet little notebook. Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Yep, we made the notebook. Now let's get a little bit creative with it. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by and welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you all so much for the wonderful ways in which you support me and my channel. I truly appreciate it. Y'all in a previous video, and I'll have that video linked in the description box below for anyone who might have missed it, we made this awesome five by six notebook from scratch. We made the notebook and then we attached hardware to the inside to make it old school style. And today we're going to dress up our notebook even more than I've already done because I'm going to show you how to make a folder, a tab divider, and add a pocket to your notebook. So I'll give you a closer look in just a minute, but y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, y'all. So here is a closer look at that four by six notebook that we made together. I went ahead and dressed mine just a little bit. I added a cut apart to give it a title to the front. You don't have to do that. You can leave it plain if you want. And then when you open it, you can see that I've added a pocket to the inside here. We're going to make a pocket for the back together. So I'll show you my process for making that pocket. And then for those of you who didn't see how I made this notebook, here is that metal hardware that I'm talking about. Mine is a two ring but they are sold in different sizes on Amazon. So this way, when we're using these, we're able to make a truly customizable and refillable notebook. So like any notebook that we had back in school, if we were lucky, we were able to get some folders for the notebook. I'm going to show you how I made this sweet little folder insert, as well as my tab divider here. So when we're done, I'll have two folders and two tab dividers and then two pockets in my notebook. And so many of you left comments saying that you love this project and you're going to be making it not only for yourself, but for friends and family. And y'all, that makes me so happy to hear because I love it when we introduce something new and it's so well received on the channel. I absolutely love it. So again, if you haven't seen the video on how to make this, it is linked in the description box below. So go on out there and check it out and then join us as we make these beautiful little notebooks. You can make them in any size you want following the process that I share with you in the original video. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to make inserts for this. So let's just go ahead and cut our paper. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to cut my paper for my pocket. So I know that this is six inches long and we're going to trim it down by a quarter of an inch to five and three quarters of an inch. That'll be the length that I'll be using for the pocket as well as the tab. I know I need to start at five and three quarters, but I want a two inch fold over so that I can create a folder. So we're going to cut this down to seven and three quarters by 12. And we'll make another cut to it in a minute. Then I'm going to go ahead and just cut a piece for the pocket and the size that you choose is really up to you. But I wanted my pocket to be four and one quarter inches high. And this is five inches across. So I made it four and seven eighths so that I would have just a little bit of wiggle room here. So let's go ahead and cut a piece that is four and seven eighths. By four and a quarter. And y'all, this is the pocket. So I'm just going to take this piece and it's four and seven eighths by four and a quarter. And for this part, when you're making your notebook, no matter the sizing, you can choose whatever size you want. So now I'm just going to take my finger blade and and on the five and seven eighths inch side, I am just going to cut like this. And I have some bead themed washi tape. I got this washi tape from Amazon. I think there were 12 different bead themed rolls in the pack. I'll have that linked for anyone who's interested. 
and all I'm doing is taking that washi tape and I'm using it as a decorative part. So now we're going to take our pocket and we're going to put it in like this and I'll be putting it down using my glue. So I'm just going to add some glue this way and some glue this way. And now we can take our pocket and I'm going to put it down right here. So now we have pockets on both ends. All right, y'all, I'm gonna share with you the quick and easy way that I use to figure out what size my tab needs to be. Now I'm making all of the inserts five and three quarters of an inch long. So that's going to be standard for me. So what I did was, however tall this is, I'm simply reducing it by a quarter. But the way that I determined how wide I needed this to be is I took this piece and it's about four inches and then I just added a quarter of an inch to it. So I made this four and a quarter inches wide. So that's all I'm doing. When you're doing yours, no matter the size that you're making, whatever the final size of your white paper or your lined paper is, go ahead and take that size and add one quarter of an inch to it. Because mine is four inches, I did four and a quarter by that five and three quarter inch standard that I'm using. So I'm going to take this piece of scrap and we're going to cut it at four and a quarter by five and three quarters. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mark off one quarter of an inch this way. And this time I am going to remove part of this. So I'm cutting on that quarter of an inch line. Then I'll take my finger blade and we'll cut this way. And now I have my tab. So my tab will go in like this. So now I can take this piece that has my holes. I'm going to put it down so I have an even amount at the top and at the bottom. Using the holes in the white paper as my guide, I'll punch a hole. Using my crop dial And then I'll do the same thing here. Punch a hole. So now we should have a nice tab that fits. I'm going to close this and let's go ahead and open that a little bit. And you can see my tab right there. So it extends out, which is exactly what we want. So now I'm going to open this because we're going to make the folder. And we also want our folder to stick out a little bit. So here is the trick. We know that this is four and a quarter. We're simply going to double that. So it now becomes eight and a half and it's still going to be five and three quarters of an inch this way because that's our standard for the length. So to get the size that you need for your folder, you simply take whatever the width was that you used for the tab divider and you double it. So this was four and a quarter. We're now going to do eight and a half. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cut this down to eight and a half. And on the eight and a half inch side, let's score at four and a quarter. Then we're going to turn it to the seven and three quarter inch side and we're going to score at two. This is how we get those pockets. So now I'm just going to fold and burnish. Then I'm going to take my finger blade and we're just going to go right up to the middle and I'm going to cut straight down. And so now I'm just going to take my glue, add some glue to the corners here or the edges. And 
create our pockets. So let's just go ahead and fold up. Get that nice and stuck. And so there is my pocket. Y'all, I'm just going to fold it. I am going to use this as my guide. Let's just line them up. I'll take my hole punch and punch my holes. This is a super easy way to make your own folders and a super easy process for determining the paper sizes that you need for both the folder as well as the tab divider. So now before I put this in, I'm going to go ahead and just add some decorative washi tape. Just as a cute little topper here. And then I'll add just a little bit to the bottom. Just go all the way across because I can just cut through that very easily. So there we have our pocket. Now I'm just going to fold it, bring my notebook back in, and let's go ahead and add this pocket. Then I'm going to put this one here at the front. And now you can decorate your pocket however you like. I think I'm going to take this that says cute as can be. And I'm just going to hold it down with a little bit of washi tape. Put that there. And then we'll put this piece right here. And just tear it. And now I can flip over to the back and we can put that one right there. And so there y'all, we've made a folder. We made our own tab. And we made a pocket for this. Easy peasy. If you're choosing to make this in a bigger size, just follow that process that I shared with you on how to determine the size for your divider tab, as well as how to determine the size for your folder. And then you'll end up with something stinking cute and beautiful like this. It's so easy to make our own notebook. Y'all, this is super, super special. And I can promise you right now, notebooks will be made in this fashion for upcoming craft fairs. This would make a fabulous spring or summer seller, and it will definitely make an awesome Christmas seller. I can see this also being used to make Christmas planners. If you know someone who's getting married, why not make a bridal planner for them using the ring hardware. That way you can customize it however you like. Let's just have one final look at this because I love how it turned out. And I hope that you have fun making the folders, the dividers, and the pockets for yours as well. And as I always say, y'all, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I'd love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe, be kind, and be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.